It is the day of reckoning. This is the social media apocalypse, y'all. I just finished watching the F8 conference, which is like a Facebook developer conference where they just have like a keynote that is streamed live and I just caught up on it. And let me tell y'all, Mark Zuckerberg is about to have y'all shook the house, girl. So <laughs> let me stop being so dramatic. But basically there are like a ton of changes that are, that are coming to Facebook and Instagram. And I wanna kind of talk to, to y'all today because I know some of y'all don't watch these things and I want you to be ready. I don't want you to be that shook. I want you to just, to just be a little bit more prepared for when these changes start happening and you're not gonna be like, you know, surprised. So the first thing that he talked about was Facebook groups and how actually just social media in general, they are for Facebook, they're going to be cutting back the public stuff, right? So they're trying to work backwards and make the first private social media. <laughs> and I'm here for it. And but what that basically means that is, is that social media, the social platform, Facebook, they're trying to make it so that you can connect to your friends and family the most and also highlight groups. So, so what that means for you is that it's gonna be 100% community based. He hasn't mentioned what that means for business pages, but I want you to keep in mind that they are highlighting groups a lot. And so I'm not saying for you to go out and make a group right now, even if you don't know what it, what, like how to use it for your own business. But just keep that in mind that Facebook is shifting the position of really being focused in up on those private, intimate conversations to where they have all of their messages inside the Facebook Messenger app, right? And then inside the Facebook Messenger app is almost like a mini Snapchat where you see Instagram stories, like your, like your friends, you see all your stuff from all of the other um, social networks like WhatsApp and Instagram all in one thing. But it's so, it's, so it's really, really cool. I like it. I'm here for it. But I want you to also keep, keep in mind that those are going to be the two highlights when it comes to Facebook. Now, when it comes to Instagram, girl. So Instagram, it sounds really, really cool to where, again, it's all privacy based and they're trying to like really, really ramp up the Instagram stories. Go figure. If you haven't been on stories by now, get on it and just start using it, start getting a little bit more comfortable with it. Um, they're going to be really highlighting that. They're changing how the camera is. They have a better camera for uh, for Instagram. And um, I forgot what they're calling it, but like, just be ready for that update. Um, they're also, let me check my notes real quick because I took some notes. So, oh, this is the big one that you're going to be kind of like. <laughs> so there is going to be no likes shown on your post. So they are taking away people being able to see public likes. Instead, you're so so instead you're going to still be able to see like who has liked it and if you want to spend all that time counting who's liked it then you can, but they're not going to worry about they are getting rid of the likes being there. Now, if you are the owner of the post, then you can totally like um request to see how many people have liked that post, but um, but no one else is going to be able to see it. So they're really trying to hone in on the using this as a community. It's not just for you to be concerned about those vanity metrics. And so that is the update. Now, what that means for you, <laughs> which I'm so, 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 so excited about, is that you don't have to worry about these vanity metrics. So you no longer have to worry about, okay, how many posts does my, um, does my, um, Sorry, how many likes does my post have? You don't have to be functioning off of those vanity metrics. You want to be focused more upon engagement. That's all that you have to worry about. You don't have to be focused up on likes, comments, and shares. Just focus up on the end goal. So eliminate that need or like that kind of um, thinking that you need to be focused up on likes and, um, and more followers. Focus up on community because that's what Instagram wants you to focus on today. So now that the likes are gone. I'm so happy about it. Some influencers are like, oh my God, how am I going to get sponsorships? I don't care. That has nothing to do with me. I'm, there will be, there will always be a way to make money on Instagram. And for you as a coach or consultant or service-based business, the way that you're going to make money on Instagram is through building your community and building your authority, which is what I teach every single day live, eat, sleep, breathe it. And so I want you to always be on guard, always have that mindset of community first, 
servicing your community, building that whole community up, right? So if you're listening to my videos and I'm telling you to know your idle customer, create content that, that people actually want to engage with and always have a call to action and have us on um, a social media sales funnel, you are good. You don't have to worry about these like likes being being gone away. That's That's better for you. No one really would you won't have to think about, okay, I need to start like posting for the sake of posting because I need to get more likes and followers. No, you don't. You just need to build your own community and then you're going to be good to go. Focus up on actual action type of metrics. And if you don't know what those are, it's, you know, if you check your Instagram, um, your Instagram analytics, that means that you're going to be searching for, that you're going to be looking more for website clicks or, um, or the other one, that, which is like how many people have been to your profile, right? And how many people are go, are coming from Instagram to buy whatever you have? How many people are converting onto your website? And how many people coming from your website from Instagram are doing what you want them to do, which is like buy something or book a discovery call, whatever that may be. That's going to be where you care more about. So, so, so those likes and like comments and shares don't really matter that much. Um, just focus upon those actual action type of pieces of, of content. So that is all that I have. Um, yeah, I want to know what y'all think. Are you shook that the likes are um, going to be gone from Instagram? I'm not, but, it, but if you are, it's totally okay. Leave me a comment down below. I really, really, really want to know what you think you're going to be doing um, when that happens. Um, also, leave a comment if you didn't even know that these things were happening. And if you like hearing about more updates from me, I would be more than happy to give you a little tea spill whenever Facebook or Instagram does something crazy. <laughs> Not crazy, but anything to help their, um, to help the the followers and the people that are using their, their platform use it better and with more intention. So anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>